Modern diesel engines make plenty of power and torque and deliver fuel efficiency. However, contaminated fuel causes big problems, fouling injectors and leading to expensive repairs. Ryko makes direct fitment kits for many four-wheel drives, but if you don't have one available for your vehicle, you can purchase the Universal Ryko Z980 UK fuel water separator. After a quick trip to the parts shop, we have all the bits you need to install this pre-filter into your engine bay. Remember, this work should only be carried out by a qualified mechanic. First, you need to do some planning. Work out the best spot to mount the fuel water separator, which should be somewhere near your fuel filter in a clear space if possible. As for tools, I need a drill, riv nut set. I've also got a sharp blade and general hand tools for the install. From there, we need to measure up and work out what fuel hose is required. For this four-wheel drive, I need a 12 millimeter fuel hose, and three meters of it. Always buy a bit more than you need. Also, make sure to purchase some correct size hose clamps and have some cable ties handy. Included in the Z980 UK kit are a pair of Ryko fuel fittings and quick connectors to suit 10mm fuel hose applications. This Pajero uses 12mm fuel hose, so we have purchased the correct size quick connector set from Ryko. The part number is RFA232. Next, I plan to use rib nuts to secure the head of the Ryko fuel water separator to the body of the Pajero. So drilling two holes here and here, and now inserting the correct rib nuts for the bolts. Now it's time to install the Ryko fuel water separator. As you can see, you have multiple choices when it comes to which way you can store the fuel fittings. I'm doing it this way, so I need to blank off these fuel ports with these blanking plugs and install the two Ryko hose fittings, use the supplied seals with the fittings and tighten up securely. Now that my mounting plate head is assembled, I can fit the Z980 UK filter and fuel bowl like so and mount it to the bracket with the two bolts. I've checked my length, made my fuel line cut and used two new hose clamps. Now it's a case of connecting the factory incoming fuel line that was connected to the fuel filter to the inlet port of the Ryko fuel water separator. Next, connect the outlet port of the fuel water separator to the OEM fuel filter. A quick check on all my hoses and bolts and I'm ready to prime the fuel system. Once you're happy with priming, start the vehicle and check for any leaks. Remember to inspect your fuel bowl for water periodically and at every service. So if you're interested in this product and want more information, visit ricofilters.com.au.